Well, here we are again, Ed Nishikori. It's that time of year. It is the fall this time. There's a spring shikori and there's a fall shikori. And, uh, you know, this is the fall one. Uh, normally, the spring shikori is known as the wet one, but, you know, for whatever reason, it decided to rain quite a bit. It's going to rain for the next couple of days. However, we got lucky because this rain is actually a few days before the festival. Um, since they let you come in on the Saturday before the festival, I'm coming in on Monday. Um, the tents are already set up and all that, so it shouldn't, you know, I should just be able to slide in even though there's rain and stay reasonably dry. So, uh, in the background we've got going uh, the wonderful music of the Danian, um, off of their, uh, their song, A Song for Ireland, or their album, A Song for Ireland. Anyway, we're, uh, we're looking for our exit. It's coming up. It's highly likely that I could miss it if I don't pay attention, but... We'll just keep looking. Uh, I think it's the one where it says 87. I see that in the distance. You can't see that, but it's there. All right. Well, we're going to drive and get to this exit. Yep, exit 381. So I started it this time a little bit before the exit because I wanted you to see how, you, you know, you're going along. You're on a highway. It feels like civilization, and we just go to one. We, we keep uh, shedding one layer after layer of civilization until we finally get to what used to be some farmland where Shikori is, which is a nice, a nice, nice place to be. All right. Half mile, it says. There you go. Whoa! Well, this is a beautiful song. Sort of a depressing one, but it's uh, called Hard Times. I'm not sure if it's Mary Black on this one singing or not, but really pretty. I have yet to memorize this one. Some songs reject me for a while. Maybe they feel you're not worthy yet. I haven't quite figured that out, but other songs, they just like jump right in your mind and won't leave you. There we go, we're getting on the exit. Yeah, that's Mary Black, gorgeous voice. The uh, tune that was playing before was the arrival of the Queen of Sheba, which I swear it sounds kind of like, uh, I don't think it's a tune as much as like a classical piece they did with, with Irish music instrumentation. There we are, we are in 87. Now we're going to pass the first exit and we'll take the next one. I do that because Catherine likes that exit, not the first one, she likes the next one. And I figured, you know, as I do this, it'll remind me of her. I like to be reminded of her. As it so happens, the fall shikori falls right near my birthday, um, which is tomorrow, October 8th. Right now is October 7th. And uh, so uh, I'll be there having fun. But Catherine is not happy that I will not be home with her. But she, she's okay. She knows this is like something I really like to do. And for me, it's like I can't think of a better place I'd rather be on my birthday than out in the woods camping with fire, playing music. Of course, in this case, it's going to be raining, so uh, maybe there are some better things to do. But but you have to take your uh, find where you can get it. We don't control the weather so far. All right. So the whole world is wet, but um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's the trees are actually starting to turn, which is rather nice. I guess the last time I did this, I was a little more animated. I think I'm just really tired right now for whatever reason. I haven't been sleeping well, but been through a little bit of back troubles and stuff like that. No fun. But got healed up, it would seem, in time for Shikori. Though I think if I'm going to survive, I'm going to have to get up every morning and do my exercises like it was a religion or something. <clears throat> Which is not a bad thing. Okay, here is the first exit. But we're not taking that. Because now we're remembering Catherine. Oh, person is slowing down in front of me. That is awesome. Because they are, I think, they think they missed their exit. I bet these are Shikori people. That's my guess. So they're going to turn in here and probably turn around. We won't know for sure 
because we're keep, we're moving on. All right, now we're in for some upbeat music. Oh yeah, look at that. I think it's some reels. Let me check real quick. Yes, it is Mall Mall Queen's reels. Sure, a nice little set. Um, I started trying to learn them and, and didn't succeed. What's what's what makes them sort of a devil of a thing to play is is there's a few there's so many notes. It's so close together. That's how I, I guess I could put it. It looks like you're playing the same thing over and over again, but you, you subtly change one note here or there, and and so it becomes sort of a uh, an, a little bit of a, a difficult thing to to really get right. Not that I won't, but at least that day, as I was pulling into uh, physical therapy and being almost late, but not quite. Actually, I was late because I forgot the. the when the appointment really was, but anyway, so there I was trying to figure this tune out, and then I realized ah, I just I don't have time, so I had to go up there, and then I found out I was late. That's how I work, ridiculously, basically. All right, traveling on. That was a nice sign. It said to be to God be the glory. Who else would you give it to? And and then there is that weird little place. It is called the Goat House. Sounds like a bar. It's not. I'm sure it's not a bar, but that'd make a great bar, I think. It'd be even cooler bar if it was a bar that played, like, Irish music, right? That would be, you know, but, like, this kind of Irish music as opposed to, you know, the sort of stuff that happens on St. Patrick's Day. Some more country-filled. Country-like. Redneck Irish. How about that? There you go. <laughs> See, maybe this subdued was because of the song. I, I am, I'm very moved by music, and so if you have a hoppy, you know, dance tune in the background, well, I'm, I'm going to get sort of spastic, probably. Oh, there was a dead deer. You probably didn't see that. But uh, it was there. It happens. Hopefully we will avoid that, because, you know, deers, when they hit your cars, they just kind of cause problems. Lots of problems. Um, and you can get killed too, because they can pop up right off the car into the window and horns in your head, heart, whatever. So, or they just, you know, cause you such problems driving that you run into a tree or something of that sort. But it's no good for them, of course, either. Actually, uh, I didn't hit a deer, but I, I came up upon a deer that had been hit one time. It was really sad because the deer, well, if it, if it had, been, if you could take a wild deer into captivity and, 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 and heal it, it might have been able to survive. You know, I couldn't tell if it had internal damage, but the um, it's it's his ankle or what you, you might, maybe it's a knee. I don't know the anatomy of deers, but anyway, it, it had been totally crushed. And you know, in the wild, there's absolutely no way that thing's going to survive. He he just would have starved. Um, and of course, since he was in the road, he was going to get hit by more cars, so that would have made it even worse. All right, I now have passed my turn. So we are gonna turn around. Um, let's see, where can we turn around? Right here, it should work. Oh. All right. Here we go. That was a great view of my finger there. All right, so now, this is dance music, but still a little more subdued. Turning on Castle Rock Farm, is that it? Yes, that is it. Woo! Wah! Those are the nice sound effects I have to make as I uh, make quick turns and stuff like that. All right, now we're looking for something like Canyard something. If you ever detect cluelessness in me, well, that's that's it's there, it's real. Foolishness, oh my gosh, I have it. Um, oh wow, look, performers sticker. Is it this nice? This year, last year, I wasn't performing. Well, I did. I performed in the coffee bar, which is really cool and, and an honor. And um, but this year, I'm on the main bill, which is really really nifty. Even made it on the poster, which I was pretty excited about. The best was when I was talking to somebody at the IBMA stuff that was going on down in. Uh, 
Raleigh, and I didn't really mention that I played at Tricori and stuff, and we were talking about various things. Uh, one of our discussions even rambled around uh, as we kept drinking more and more um, to um, how he just was totally frightened by walking into a place and they were singing IRA songs and stuff, which is understandable. But uh, anyway, so so here, you know, we were in an Irish pub, so the subject was there. And I play Irish music, so, well, what do you expect? But, um, so then the next day, I, I you know, he was sort of the sober one that night, and uh, the next day I, I run into him around Raleigh, probably right near Slim's, uh, the parking lot beside Slim's, and uh, when uh, I run into him, he's like, hey, you're you're playing at Shakori, and I was just like, well, yeah, I am. How'd you know? And he's like, well, I saw your name on a on a on a poster, and you know, obviously, I can't lie. I was pleased, but at the same time, it was kind of funny because like. Before, I mean, he, he was enjoying the conversation with me, but, you know, I was just, you know, some dude, but now I'm some dude that's playing at Shikori, and it's like, and they don't understand that the way you get to play at Shikori is they are very gracious to you, and they let you play. So it's just a gift. It's nothing really that big. Though I, I am, I'm pretty excited. I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say that. See, the problem with this is you may actually learn more about me than you wanted to know or I want you to know because I just sort of like, I'm just talking. It's just, just sort of weird. Oh, well, we made the turn, clearly. You know, maybe I'm going to be quiet for a little while because this is a lovely song. Lovely song. Mary Black singing again with the Damon. Wow, look at that rain. Okay, maybe I can't stop talking. <laughs> oh, that that could flood. Oh, there you go. Woo. All right, we're going to slow down and put these things on faster. Oh, wow. turn the music up because I can't turn down the rain. <laughs> Dead snake. Or it might have been just something else. I don't know. Pizza plastic. It's like a dead snake. You can see like pine needles on the side there. Oh, we're getting close. All right, there is the first port pot, porta potty. That is the sign. We are near Shikori. And of course, yet again, we are coming up on that beautiful sign. There it is. Glad to be here again. Happy to be here. So, I'm gonna have to shut you off and we'll do the second part after we pass the gate. But it's been a pleasure. Over and out. Talk to you later.